So uh, with a question like this where we're substituting negative 1 in and raising it to various powers, the main thing we need to be careful of is remembering that when you raise a negative number to even powers, namely 2 and 4, it becomes a positive number because a negative times a negative is positive. It stays negative at odd powers. So we just kind of keep our story straight. Um, so it's the opposite of, and then a squared becomes 1, a cubed becomes negative 1, a to the fourth becomes 1 again, and a to the fifth becomes negative 1 again. So uh, 1 plus negative 1 is 0, 1 plus negative 1 is 0. We get the opposite of 0, which doesn't really exist, so it is answer choice C, 0.